Okay, so Algebra 1, this is Chapter 3, Section 7, and hopefully you did watch the one on the football leagues because that was exciting stuff and you get to know me just a little bit better. So if you didn't, go back and watch that one. Anyway, um, let's go over Example 3. I've got two examples to go over here. So we've got a meal for two at a restaurant, costs $32.75, and we've got some sales tax of 5%. We want to know the total price of the meal. So sales tax, uh, that is something that we have to pay in addition to the regular fee. So we're going to have our $32.75, and we have to pay 5% of that whole $32.75. So, and we have to pay it. So we're going to pay both of these. So for paying both of these, we're adding. So then we're just going to change it into a simple math problem. So it's $32.75 plus, and 5%, you've got to change it into a decimal. You've got to move the decimal two places. And if you don't have anything there, you have to add a zero. So this is 0 0.05. Do not make it 0 0.5 because 0 0.5 is 50 and you do not want to pay 50% sales tax. You only want to pay 5% sales tax. Don't give the government more than they are due. Um, then grab your calculator. So this is going to be uh, 0 0.05 times the 32.75. So our tax on this is going to be 1.63. Seven, five. Mm, do we have that many decimals when we talk about money? I don't think so. So our money would normally be chopped off there, but know that money always rounds up because businesses always want their extra penny. So it really doesn't matter if this is a seven or a two. This is always going to round up for money when you're talking about restaurants because again they want all their money. So this is 32.75 plus 1.64. So let's add that 1.64 plus the 32.75, and we end up with a total of $34.39. That's how much total we have to pay with the cost of the food and the 5% sales tax. Okay. So our next example here, we're going to go to, again, buy another meal, and we're going to pay $32.75. We're going to say the tax is already on there. But we want to leave a 15% tip. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. Okay? So the first way is we're going to say we've got 32.75 plus we want to pay a tip. Well, we don't want to, but they were really good, and so they deserve a 15% tip. So I'm going to take the 15% and change it into 0.15. And it's 0.15 of the 32.75. And so again, that's just a multiplication. So it's 0.15 times the 32.75, and so that's going to be $4.9125. So since this is a tip, we don't really need to pay that much, so we just pay the 491. So we're going to take the 32.75, and we're going to add on our 491 tip. So we're going to take 4.91. We're going to add it to 32.75, and we get $37.66 you're going to pay for that meal. Okay, well, that's the standard way to do it, but then you've got the way you do it when you're actually at the restaurant. Well, I know a 10% tip means that it's multiplying by 0.1, which means I'm moving my decimal over one place. So it's 32.75, and I'm going to move my decimal one place. So that's going to be 3.28, whenever I round the 7.5, so I can put the 7.5 there. So that's 10%. And then I'm going to have 5%. And 5% is half of 10%, right? So half of 3.27, 3, uh, or 3.28, so 3.28 divided by 2 would be a, like a 1.64. And yeah, this is actually what I do in my head, kind of. Um, so I made this, this 7, 5 into an 8 here. And then I just add straight down. So I've got the 32.75. And everybody's got a, all this stuff on their um, phones now any day. You've got your calculator on there. So you can just pull this out and onto your phone and type it all in. So 32.75 plus the 10%, which is 3.28, since we rounded, plus the 5% more. So that's 1.64, and we end up with $37.67 tip. 
So in this case, we're one cent off from the other one. And whatever the case is, you usually round when you're doing tips anyway. So there's the two ways of doing it. Find the 10% by moving the decimal one place, add half more onto that, or actually multiply it by the 0.15 and add it to the 3275. Whichever way you do it, you'll get to the same answer.